For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hello friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, uh, we are going to start a new course which is called Ansible Automation, uh, the automation with Ansible. So the course content, so we are going to see that what is the course is and what is Ansible is, how the course is covered and uh, how many videos in this series is going to be posted. Uh, so all the details, so what is the cost um, you have to pay in order to learn this course and uh, where is the best resource you can look for. So let's start the uh, Ansible course here. So the first of all, um, what is a Ansible? So why Ansible you have to learn? Uh, so Ansible uh, roughly say if you want to say in a single line, which is useful to um, use in a method like uh, configuration management and application deployment tool. So uh, most of the times for the administrators like uh, example say the system administrators or the Linux administrators or the network administrators they have to log into the multiple servers and install and configure so many things in your regular job activity so this tool uh, if you have a single playbook in place then when you run that playbook so it will do all the job for you so that's the powerful automation tool or the configuration management tool uh, which you can use in many methods like which you can use your daily to daily task for um, boosting your uh, job role and spend that remaining time with other learnings or something different for your career so this will save you a lot of time in case of a installation and configuration so example what that example are ansible is ansible is an open source software uh, which is basically used for configuration management tool and application deployment tool so this ansible is not only for linux administrators so which can also support for uh, windows which can also be support for the network equipment like uh, you have a multiple network equipment where you would like to enable example say that i would like to enable the snmp community string in all the uh, switches and routers so then how you can do that you have to log into each and every server and uh, go into the configuration management and from there you have to uh, write the configuration for the snmp server to be enabled and community string to be added and allow the remaining server to be allow so every device you have to log in and do the same example say if you have 100 or 200 devices it will take like at least one or two days to log in and do that same stuff on all the 200 devices but using this ansible playbook for network example as i said you can simply run that playbook and uh, it will do your job in five to ten minutes so that powerful will be this tool so if you learn this handy tool so that it can help you in your configuration management or the deployment and patching all the stuff so um, but basically this ansible tool runs on a linux operating system so that you have to have some linux knowledge no client is required so the ansible does not require any client to be installed for the, any kind of uh, sending a remote commands or the sending any remote configuration management so it uses ssh protocol so all the network devices and linux devices and the other devices will support ssh protocol but if you have a windows windows should be enabled with the winrm so the winrm if you enable on the windows side you can also use the sensible playbook to deploy configure the everything on the windows as well so this is about the roughly in a what is ansible so the next one um, ansible learning path so how you will learn the ansible um, so what are the steps are there to learn or expertise the ansible skill so for the linux administrators required the master required skill is rscsa 
so they have to be in certified of rscs certification so that you can go further so this is required skill for linux administrators anyway that is a very very basic uh, certification which is required for the linux administrators so if i my uh, youtube playlist there is a rscs administration course which has a completely and 53 videos you can go through that course and you can learn the rscs as well so next one is the ansible essentials you have to know some essential uh, stuff like what is exactly an ansible and how it would be all the stuff the next one is automation with unassible so after learning the some essentials you start automating these things with the unassible start writing the playbooks so the next one is unassible tower so unassible tower tower is an a premium one you have to purchase from the red hat so that the it has to have some license so but it has a graphical user interface where you can uh, run some uh, playbooks and implement some playbooks all the stuff you can do from the web interface so that has some modules and that has some extra features than the ansible core version so that you have to learn after that advanced automation so from you already learn the ansible essentials automation you did some like writing the playbooks and all the stuff and you know the ansible tower then you are an advanced automation um, engineer so where you can do anything and everything from the ansible using ansible modules you can develop playbooks you can develop so many stuff over there okay so the next one is network administrators how it can help you for the network administrators or the system administrators like which are user uh, windows user administrators windows users maybe windows administrators so there they have they no need to uh, do rscs a complete course so if they did that is added advantage for them but they wanted to learn something like a network administration part then they can simply go for rh 124 that's in a very very basic administration one uh, topic so they have to learn some commands how to use and how to install the packages and how to manage some storage stuff and moving the logs reading the logs all this stuff they have to learn like when i was um, for the ansible so they have to know some uh, text editing tools all the stuff so that is basic administration they have to learn in order to learn the network automation so after that ansible for ansible for network automation they have to learn d0457 course then they start doing the network automation stuff after that ansible tower so they have to learn the ansible tower so in order to expertise their modules and uh, all the implementations and uh, automation stuff so this is how the ansible learning path so how you have to learn other the if you are in a linux administrator this path you have to follow if you are a system administrator like windows administrator or linux administrator you have to follow these uh, stuff so the next one is um, in this so this is the course series the ansible automation series we are going to uh, post all of these videos in a series like uh, class one class two class three something like that so here ansible automation d0407 we are going to learn in this course so what the course is covered so the course is covered here it is for uh, basically this administration stuff the automation stuff is designed for system administrators specifically not for the most of the not for exactly for the developers but this can also helpful for the developers so in introduction to the ansible so what is an ansible and how it is all the stuff and installing and configuring the ansible core version and tower version uh, ansible inventory configuration so after installing the ansible how you are going to configure your inventory main inventory host files and uh, con creating the groups and all the stuff and running some ad hoc commands so how we can run some uh, immediate ad hoc commands on the multiple systems so how we can set up your uh, ansible lab so all this stuff and uh, introduction to ml language so what is why ml language and how it yeah, how it plays the major role on the writing the playbooks after that learning the ml introduction then you have to write some playbooks and and dirty and your dirty your hands with the writing some playbooks 
and in these playbooks you are going to learn what is how to write the variables and conditions loops and roles so how we can write all of this then you will be uh, good for fact in the writing the playbooks then after that how we can prepare jinja 2 templates so how we can make use of jinja 2 templates to um, speed up your automation stuff then implement ansible vault so this is an a um, uh, vault is like you no need to expose your password but you can implement the vault to uh, inject your password with the encryption so that you don't anybody cannot see your uh, password so that is the how you can implement it then ansible modules so how many modules you have to learn which module works for, for what so all of this uh, not all the modules but there are some important modules you have to learn uh, for the administration stuff there are so many modules so based on your requirement you have to use them so then implement ansible tower so this is the installation and configuration of the ansible tower version then troubleshooting playbook playbook errors and troubleshooting ansible so how we can uh, whenever something goes wrong how you where you want to check where the playbook is went wrong so how you have to follow the syntax all the stuff implement ansible in devops using the container services so whenever you want to deploy some containers or containers using the ansible or run some ec2 instances on the aws so how you can do that so this can also be helpful for the devops so these are all the content we are going to learn on the ansible automation course stay tuned thanks for watching stay tuned Please subscribe to the channel for latest notification of this Ansible automation course and press the bell button so that you will immediately receive the notification whenever I upload the new video on this Ansible um, playlist. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Please follow us on social networking sites. Uh, one is uh, Facebook. The Facebook page name is uh, at Linux ARKIT. Uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on Facebook the next one is Instagram uh, Instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, Twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just with me at a ravikumar48 so i will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want the latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here